What's up everybody? Welcome back to Down Country Nation. My name's Desmond and today, hopefully I'll be demystifying the world of clipless mountain bike pedals. So you just bought a fresh set of shiny new clipless mountain bike pedals. In my case, uh, I'm gonna be using the Crank Brothers candy pedals and you're a little apprehensive on uh, how to ride them without crashing. Uh, hopefully today I'll be showing you guys how to ride these pedals the correct way and how to practice safely so you don't end up in the emergency room. Okay, emergency room's a little bit of a stretch, but hopefully I will be able to help you guys so you don't end up getting bruised or hurt. Why would you want to ride with clipless mountain bike pedals over just ri continue riding flats? Uh, that's probably what you learned on and you probably have gotten some more practice on flats. Why would you want to change everything up right in the uh, pinnacle time of you learning mountain biking? Well, typically you wouldn't want to change it up at that time. You'd want to get a good base down with flat pedals before you swap onto clipless pedals because flat pedals help you learn fundamental skills where you wouldn't be learning those on clip pedals. So learn on flats and then move to clips. But why would you want to use clips? Well, there are a couple reasons why people would use clips and want to use clips. Uh, there are two main ones, uh, at least for me. Number one is for control, especially on a hardtail. Uh, I do these downcountry style races and for downcountry mountain biking specifically, you're riding rough trails on bikes that typically weren't made for those type of trails. So clipping into the pedals is going to help you be able to have more control down the trail. And this might not be as important for some people, but it's important for racers uh, is power transfer. And this has been a big change for me moving from flats to uh, clipless. Uh, power transfer really uh, was upped when I moved to clipless pedals. So as you're going up the hill, it helps to be able to kind of pull up uh, and push down instead of just push down. Where like if you're on a flat pedal, you have to push down. You can't pull up because your foot will come off. So but with clips, you're locked in so you can push down and pull up and it gives you more power for the same amount of energy you'd be using, if that makes sense. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do to uh, practice and learn how to clip in is uh, find a good flat grassy area. Uh, you can practice in a parking lot, but uh, I would learn and practice in a grassy field just in case you tip over, because if you tip over, in uh, or on cement or uh, some a hard surface, it's not gonna feel good falling down. So I would find a good flat grassy area. I'm in my garden and uh, all I do, uh, also make sure you're in a uh, pretty easy gear because uh, if you are in a hard one, that can lead to you tipping over. So get in a good easy gear and uh, just start pedaling and, and just put both feet in. Uh, just keep your momentum up so you don't tip over and uh, just, just kind of pedal around. You can uh, unclip and just stand down like this and put your foot down and then clip back in and start pedaling again. But yeah, that's really the uh, basics of practice and you just do this kind of uh, just frequently and you're gonna get better at uh, clipping in. Another thing that you gotta understand is you are going to fall. Uh, this happened to me and I practiced a bunch in my yard and then went out for my first ride out on the trails and I tipped over and it's gonna hurt, it's not gonna feel good, but uh, the more you practice, it's definitely gonna get a lot easier to clip uh, and unclip out of your pedals. So yeah, it is a really good uh, skill to know how to have and be able, it, it just really improves your riding to be able to ride clips. Uh, and eventually, if you continue practicing and working at it, you will eventually be able to unclip uh, very quickly and not have any problems with riding clips and it will be very similar to flat pedals except with a bit of an edge. I know this doesn't have anything to do with uh, how to ride clipless pedals, but I would really like to talk about uh, for the beginners who maybe want to uh, look into purchasing some clipless pedals, uh, there are two main brands that uh, most people you'll see on the trails if they're riding clipless pedals. Uh, you will see them riding Crank Brothers, uh, Egg Beater System pedals, and then you'll see uh, some other people wearing, uh, riding and running Shimano SPDs. There are some other brands out there. Uh, I run Crank Brothers Egg Beaters. I did a whole video on that. I'll leave a tag at the end of this video uh, why I run Crank Brothers Egg Beater pedals. But uh, yeah, those are the two main brands. Uh, for beginners, everybody said uh, Shimano SPDs are the best one uh, for beginners because you can loosen the locking mechanism so you can get out of the pedals easier. 
but uh, Crank Brothers has a clip, a cleat at the bottom that is easier to get out of too. So they're both pretty uh, comparable, but yeah, it's really just personal preference. So yeah, looking into pedals, just get one and try it out and see if you like it. And if you don't like those and try something else, there's a lot of them on the market. So you really, it's just trial and error. I know this video is a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I really hope it kind of demystified and helped you understand uh, why there are so many different types of uh, clipless pedals out on the market and uh, just a basic kind of practice uh, plan on how to get better on your clipless pedals to feel more confident. Uh, the real key is just practicing around in a flat, easy space and then just getting up the courage to take them out on the trail one day. Like I said, you're gonna fall, it's gonna happen, it's gonna hurt, but it's not the end of the world and the performance gain is way worth it and it's gonna help, especially if you're riding a hardtail or you're riding rough technical trails, it helps to have your feet actually locked on to the pedals. I really wanna thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate everybody who takes the time to support this channel and uh, watch and just uh, comment and all that. Uh, it really uh, just makes me happy to be able to hear what you guys uh, think about the videos and uh, just any uh, input you guys have uh, on what you guys would like to see. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.